Alright kids, your guitar sage here, and today we're going to change the pace a little bit. We're going to learn In My Room by the Beach Boys. I'm looking at the chart here on my computer, and I'm going to start, and then we'll talk about the specifics. Okay, so it's going to go something like this. I'm going to finger pick it for right now, so it's going to go something like this. So that was the verse. We're going to repeat that. The chorus is going to do something like this. Stop. That's the whole thing. Okay. We'll talk about the specifics here as far as the chords and all that. And and actually, we're going to break it down. We won't we won't arpeggiate it. Is when I'm describing the chords here to you. Arpeggiating is when you take a chord instead of strumming it, you do that. Okay. You break the chord up basically. Okay. So let's um, let's talk about the chords specifically, and then we'll talk about construction and all that good stuff. And by the way, for those of you that um, some of you are going to get exactly what I'm doing here right away, and some of you are not. And for those of you that don't, check out yourguitarstage.com and purchase the ebook. There's a, a ton of great, useful knowledge in there as far as strumming, um, how to read charts, um, how to use your capo, how to play your open chords, all that good stuff. Okay, so it's it's packed. It's about 33 pages, and you can download it immediately. And also, you can get a hand, your hands on this chart. So check that out as well. A lot easier to look at that when you're, um, or a lot easier to understand when you're looking at the chart. Okay, so here we go. The chords are going to go like this. In the intro, it's going to go G. Um, and by the way, with the exception of the chorus, these are all one measure per chord. Okay, so it's going to go like this. It's going to go a measure of G. Oh, and by the way, we're capoed at the fourth fret of it, so that already go buy a capo. About 12 bucks and it will really help you out. Okay, so a measure G, a measure L. In this song, pardon me for stopping again, the song's in six. Most songs that we're doing are in four. This one's in six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six equals a measure. And seven, we got one, two, three, four, five, six in G. We got a measure of E minor, a measure of A minor. Two measures of D. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the verse goes uh, five measures of G. So four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, and then it's an F for a measure, and then back to G for a measure, four, five, six, E minor for a measure, A minor for a measure. for a measure, B, uh, F for a measure, and two G's. Okay, and then that verse will repeat, okay, twice, I believe, each time. Okay, chorus is going to go like this. It's going to go A minor, I'm sorry, scratch that. Chorus is going to go E minor for two measures, a D for two measures. Now here's our split. Bars. What we mean by split bars is we've got two chords that share the bar, share the measure. Okay. So this first four measures were E minor for two, D for two measures, and this part's going to go one, or one, two, three, four. Nah, I take that back. Back up. I'm sorry. Going to go one. Counting that like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
or in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, again, the first eight measures are going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm slowing it down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay. The second part of the chorus is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. So two measures of E minor, two measures of D, three of C. And one of D. Okay. So that's it. Now as far as um, as far as strumming or anything like that. Let's talk about a couple things. So we could do something like this. Um, taking it from the intro, it'd be like a... And I'm just doing that, one, two, three, four, five, six, by playing the bass note with my thumb, and then playing the other five notes, one, two, three, or one, play the other five notes, two, three, four, five, six, on these high notes here, okay? Um, okay, so that's it as far as the rhythm, and as far as the finger picking or strumming or whatever you're wanting to do here. Hopefully you guys have learned that. I know we packed a lot into a few minutes here. So um, again, you guys aren't getting it, check out that ebook. It's really informative and um, if you've been hesitating, go get it because it will help you with all these tunes that I'm teaching and it will make everything make a lot more sense because again, when I'm sitting down with students, we have a half hour, an hour, sometimes even longer sometimes to teach one song or several weeks and um, here we are trying to pack it into under 10 minutes. So um, hopefully you've learned something. Uh, keep checking in. I'm putting up new videos every day. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and go practice.